Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over an issue that we're actually starting to see quite often uh, because of a, a new update that was done. So if you have a Lyric controller, this system right here, and if you buy new 6 series devices, um, there might be an issue with the compatibility. So what I mean by that is the old 6 series devices used to use a sequence that started with 0, 0, delta, 0, 2, delta. And I'm talking about the serial number. All right. Now, Honeywell recently ran out of those sequences, so they now started to move on to the sequence that starts with Bravo 8, 2, Charlie, Alpha, 0. That is the new serial number, and all new devices that uh, you buy that are 6 series are going to start with that serial number. So what you're going to see quite often is if you have a Lyric system and you don't have it monitored and it's on an older firmware update, it will not be compatible with the newer 6 series devices. And the way to tell, um, first of all, if the 6 series devices that you're buying are new is the packaging that it comes in. So right here, I have a 6PIR and on the packaging, when you buy it new, you're going to see on the packaging there's a a yellow highlighter sticker. Now this highlighter sticker, it actually tells you what firmware the panel needs to be on for this communicate for this sensor to work on. So right now if you look at it, it actually says that the the device this device has the new Mac ID range, which is the sequence I was telling you, the one that starts with Bravo 8 2 Charlie Alpha 0, and it says it must be used with the Lear controller software revision 1.05 XXXX because there's more numbers after that but as long as it's on 1.05 or above it'll work if your firmware version on the Lyric panel is below 1.05 it will not work and I'm gonna show you guys right now how to find that firmware version on your panel so if you have a Lyric system and you want to confirm that it's gonna work with the new sensors first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually on the arming screen or on the primary screen right here we're gonna go ahead and hit security we're gonna go to tools now you need to enter in your master code. My default is one, two, three, four. Yours may be different if you or your monitoring company have changed it. So make sure you're using the correct code. If you did use the correct code, you're now taken to this screen. It shows users, events, advanced, keypad, date time, reminders, voice command, and Wi-Fi config. We need to go to advanced and then go to system information. And on the very first line, you'll see that this Lyric is actually on firmware revision 1.07. How? Because this one is actually activated through an AlarmNet account, which we have activated, and we push the firmware update to the, to the panels. Now, if on the revision line, which is the very first line, it's the number right after REV, if your revision is showing below 1.05, or lower, I'm sorry, if your revision is showing below 1.05, then the new 6 series devices, if they have this sticker on the packaging, will not work with your system and you will need a firmware update. Um, and again, in order to get a firmware update, you does, the system does need to be monitored. So the firmware updates actually get sent from the monitoring company through the AlarmNet 360 connection that they have to your system. Let me just back out of this screen here. I'm going to hit the home button. All right. So what I was saying about the firmware update, the monitoring company needs to be able to send it down, which means in order to have a monitoring company push that down, you need to have a, you, you need to have a monitoring plan with them. So your, your system needs to be activated with that company. Now, if you don't plan on getting monitoring and you don't ever, you don't want to pay for monitoring services or even self-monitoring services, there's no way that you're going to be able to get those new six series devices to work with the older firmware that's on your Lyric system. So we actually offer some low price self monitoring plans that you guys may be interested in. Um, if you guys do sign up and get activated with us, we'd be more than happy to send the new firmware update down. And since we're no contract, you guys can actually just be with us for one month. And if you don't, you know, if you want to take the service back, you want to cancel it, you certainly can. However, you know, hopefully you'll like the service and you'll, you'll continue to stick with it. Um, but in the end, the decision is up to you guys. We do have no contract monitoring. So if you wanted to get it activated with us, we'll be more than happy to send that firmware update down. Um, and uh, if you guys do have the system monitored, you just have to tell your monitoring company to send down the new firmware update. It should be a free 
Um, it should be a free firmware update if they're sending it from AlarmNet 360. There shouldn't be any extra charge for it. Uh, if you guys do have any questions on getting the system monitored, on whether on what firmware version your panel is on, or if your sensor is one of the new ones, you can more feel more than free to email us at support at alarmgear.com. Um, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications. So whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George from Alarm Grid. I'll see you guys next time.